Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to mention that I did a really cool interview with Streamlabs talking about how I got started on YouTube and things like that, so if you guys do want to check it out, be sure to look at the pinned comment in the comment section below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can learn how to code as a beginner. And by that, I mean you truly don't have to have any coding experience to begin with if you're watching this video, and also you won't have to worry about paying a single dollar because what I'm going to show you guys in this video is going to be completely free. If you guys end up enjoying the video and you guys do want to show some support, please be sure to hit that like button and maybe subscribe to the channel if you guys are feeling generous. Also drop a comment below if you guys are a part of the Nodi gang and have my channel notifications on. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm sure that a lot of you guys watching this video know that if you already know how to code, then it can help you get a really good job even if you're looking for a job that doesn't even relate to programming to begin with. It can also help you get picked over someone else if you're like looking for colleges to apply to or even like internships or jobs to apply to as well. And you don't even have to be like insanely talented when it comes to coding as well to get chosen over someone else. Like just adding that you're like at the intermediate level of something or you have like the basic understanding of like Python or Java on your resume is going to help you get a job over someone else. Like I can promise you that. I'm actually friends with a couple of kids who are younger than me, I'm 22 right now, but I know some teenagers who are making thousands of dollars a month because they taught themselves how to program and now they have clients that pay them to work on projects for them. So it's pretty clear that knowing how to code can definitely change your life for the better. So anyways, to get started, go to the link in the description below, I put that there so it should be easier for you guys to click on, and it's going to be on the screen as well, but go to codecademy.com. Anyways, to get started, all you have to do is just go ahead and type an email right here, come up with a random password to actually create your account, and then from there just hit start coding now. When you get to the next page, it will say that you have their like pro subscription for the next seven days for free, but trust me, I use like the complete like free version throughout like all of high school and most of college, and it's been fine for me, so don't worry about having to pay after the seven days if you guys don't want to, you will be perfectly fine. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit start now, and you guys will be greeted with a page like this one right here. From here, if you already do know like what you want to program in or like kind of like what you want to learn, all you have to do is just hit that I want to explore on my own button and you should be good from there. But if you guys don't know, which is totally okay, this video is for beginners in general anyway, um, just hit the one that says give me a custom recommendation and that's just going to give you like a little quiz It's going to ask you like why you want to learn how to program, what you hope to gain out of it and things like that and it should give you like a solid thing to actually start learning. But uh, we're not going to do that actually. What I recommend you guys do is just go to the catalog right here on the top right. And then from there, you will be able to browse all the languages on this website that you're actually able to learn. So you can see like HTML, CSS, Python, JavaScript, Java, SQL, Ruby, so many things. So this website is like jam-packed with a bunch of foundational stuff that you guys can learn for whatever programming language that you do want to pick up. And if you guys know any programmers, I'm sure they have already told you that once you learn like one really solid language like Python or Java, it's pretty easy to pick up like almost any other language out there. Uh, if I had to pick like one language that I definitely think you guys should start off with off the bat, it would probably be Python because in my personal opinion, it's like one of the easiest languages to pick up like right off the bat. And it's also like one of the most popular languages that I know a lot of developers have been using these days. And if you guys are looking to like code your own website, then definitely check out HTML and CSS. And then when you guys are done with that course, then definitely move on to JavaScript. And then from there, pick whatever you guys want to. Um, I'm just going to start off with HTML and CSS because I feel like that's something that a lot of the people watching this video are going to be interested in. So anyways, once you guys are there, you guys should see something similar to what you guys see right now. So once you click one, you will scroll down a bit and you'll see all the courses. And the ones that say like the pro underscore like a little tag right there, that means you can only access them if you have like their pro subscription. But as you can see, there's like a ton of free ones that you get without having to pay for the pro subscription. And like I said before, I made it through all of high school and most of college, like just picking up all this stuff. So you guys should be good without having to pay for the subscription. These free ones should definitely be more than enough to actually like get you guys introduced with the basics and like the foundational stuff behind like programming. So anyways, let's get on with the first course, which is going to be Introduction to HTML. From there, when we click it, we'll, we will see like a little overview of what we're going to be learning, some other stuff right here. And we'll also see like on average how long it takes to actually complete this course. So it does take seven hours, but don't worry, that doesn't mean that you have to like sit down there like and dedicate seven hours of your life for this. You can do it like over a couple of weeks or maybe even a couple of months if you want to. I recommend just doing it over a couple of weeks because that'd probably be the easiest way to do it. I know we all have lives, but anyways, it will take you about seven hours to complete if you guys do it at like a solid pace. So anyways, when you guys are ready to get started, all you have to do is just hit the start button right here and you guys should get prompted to a screen like this one right here. So anyways, when you guys do get to the website, you're going to see that it's broken down into three parts. And let me quickly walk you guys through it real quick. So obviously in the middle, this is going to be where you're going to be writing all of your code. And then on the right side right here, where it's just white right now, that's what your code is going to be previewed as. So let's say I made like a whole website right here, like in the code, we could see the entire website right here on the right side. And then on the left, this is just going to be like your basic like little textbook kind of guy that's going to tell you like what you're going to be learning in this current part of the course, if that makes sense. So right here is just telling us like what HTML is, what it stands for, hypertext markup language. Um, obviously like you don't have to read all this if you don't want to, you can just like skim through it and just kind of like try getting the basics, maybe take some notes as you guys are going along with it. And then right here to get onto the next part of the course, you will have to complete this little challenge right here. So it says in the code editor to the right, which is going to be right here, this is the code editor, type your name in between the H1 element and then press run. So, so right here, these are the H1 elements. So all we have to do right here, is just type in Moz. Um, you guys can use that code right there, code Moz for 10% off G Fuel, or even use it in the Fortnite item shop if you guys do want to support your boy. 
But anyways, all we have to do from there is just hit run, and you guys should see on the website, now it says Moz and like the first header kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, obviously this website right here is insanely plain because we only have one line of code, but anyways, moving on from that, we did complete the challenge. Um, if you guys do need help like trying to complete these challenges, you guys can hit the Code Academy forums right here and ask some questions if you guys do have them. And sometimes if you get the, uh, if you get like this little challenge wrong a couple of times, it will give you like a little solution button right here. And you can actually like see the solution from there. So anyways, let's go into the next one. So right here is just like kind of giving us the basics of HTML anatomy. Pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. It's just telling us like what we just learned right here. So like this was the opening tag. This is the content that we put in. Before it was like the H1 tag and then it said Moz and then there's the closing tag. Just normal stuff that you guys should read if you guys do want to learn a bit more about HTML. Anyways, from there we can just hit next. And then by now I'm sure you guys probably understand like the basics of how learning on this website actually goes, right? So like you'll have the guide right here, you'll read a bit, then you'll go ahead and like actually try implementing it into this coding section right here. Then from there, you'll see your actual results on the website page. So right here it says add a body to your web page using the body element. So all I'd have to do right here is just type in body like that. And then I would do that again and then do body. Oh my God, I can't spell. There you go, body again. So there you go. And I think we're good. So we just hit run. We added the body element, there you go. So first thing is check. And it actually shows you guys exactly how to do it, right? So like right here it says this is exactly what you need to do. That's what the body element is. I added that right here and then I hit run and we checked the first thing. So now it says add the following code between your opening and closing body brackets or body tag. So right here this is the uh, opening body tag and this is the closing one. So all I have to do right here, copy this, go right here, paste it, hit run. And as you can see now on the website we have that quote right there from Audrey Lord. I don't know. Anyway, so it's, pre it's pretty simple like how this website works and it's actually like really cool how you read, then you actually implement it and then you can see how it works. And so honestly, like my biggest tip for you guys if you guys are actually gonna try taking this website seriously is just go ahead and read through these instructions right here like the general guide. Take notes as you guys are going along, like have like a notebook or something on your side because in reality this website can definitely change your life. It's probably changed so many other lives in the past it can definitely change yours as well. It starts off pretty easy as you guys can see from these like little couple of examples that I've already done, but it will get more challenging in the future if you guys do progress into the course. Um, but anyways guys, that really is it for today's video. Feel free to pick literally whatever coding language that you guys do wanna pick. Just go to the Code Academy button right here and then from there you can go to the catalog. Hey, <laughs> you guys see that little promo right there? Anyways, um, just pick whatever language you, you guys wanna actually like try picking up and try working through it. It's really simple. And I'm not kidding when I say that you guys can go through some of these languages and literally just learn like the beginning of it and you can put that on your resume. You can say that you have like the basic understanding of like Python or HTML or JavaScript or whatever and it can definitely help you get hired over someone else when you're looking for like an internship or like a job or literally whatever. Now, one thing I do wanna mention before I do close off with the video is that I do, I strongly wanna mention that you are not racing against anyone else and there is no point in trying to rush through all these courses as quick as you can because in reality, you should only do them when you actually have time to actually learn whatever is actually in these courses, if that makes sense. If you're just going through and rushing through it all, you're probably not gonna actually like pick it up in your brain and you're not gonna be able to implement it in your real life in the future if you ever have to. So definitely just take your time with it. You're in no rush. This website is always gonna be available for you guys to use. So use it. Like literally this website can change your life. I'm not over exaggerating when I'm saying it. But anyways guys, enough with me. That's it for the video guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are feeling generous. All that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.